Okay, this is a quick how-to guide for the BU9354 Burberry watch, which I've owned for about a year now, or two years, and I never really knew how to use it or what all these little dials meant, so I said, well, I'm going to figure it out. Um, you know, it's got the, the start and stop buttons, but uh, when you get it, all these dials are set to different places. Now, um, here's how to start, if you will. If you've got your watch like this, and this hand right here is spinning, and this hand is off, and this hand is th these hands are going somewhere else, get it, get the the this long what we think about as a second hand to stop by pushing this first button, then reset it. This bottom button, you just push it and hold it once. This hand, this hand, and this hand are your chronograph. Now, I wasn't sure what that meant. I mean, I knew it was a stopwatch, but this is independent of the clock. It's independent feature. It doesn't do anything. It has nothing to do with time, uh, like the date and time. It has to do with elapsed time. So when you're just wearing the watch normally, this is how I wear it. You've got this hand, this hand, and this hand. Uh, straight up and down. This one is a uh, for for timing. So this is these three are always up. If they're not always up, you can fix that easy. If this one's stuck after you did what I just did, if you start it and your seconds are going, and then you stop it, and then you push reset. If these three hands aren't straight vertical, it's real easy to fix that. Uh, there's another how-to guide out there that the guy does a better video than mine. So, anyway, this is how I wear my watch normally. You can see it's 6:36 p.m. Uh, this is the second hand. It always just goes on its own. It never stops. But this second hand timer, if you will, is stuck. Uh, if you've noticed in the video since I've started talking, it was 6:35 or so. And now it's almost 637. So it doesn't matter what your stopwatch this this timer does. And I'll cut this part of the video so you don't have to sit through an entire minute. But you can tell when this hand goes around one lap, this little hand will go over one dot. And I'll stop talking for a second and let it do that. Okay, as we come up on one minute, this is your second hand timing one minute. When he gets to here, watch this hand. There we go, one minute and five seconds. The timer's been going for one minute and eight, nine, ten seconds. So to tell how long the timer's been going, you just look over here and you can see this is one minute plus whatever this little second hand does. And as you can see, the second hands on time, like date and time, uh, are just spinning away, doing its own thing, off to a different, uh, off to a different uh, rhythm, if you will. And the 6:37 uh, or 38 time is uh, uninterrupted. It keeps doing its own thing. So you've got two separate functions: a watch and a stopwatch, and they're always working uh, independently. So let's say I want to stop the stopwatch at 1 minute and 50 seconds. Done. It's stopped. You can do a split lap, but I won't get into that now. Um, you can start it again, you know, if you want to keep going with time. Uh, so 155. You're usually counting how fast it takes to make a widget or something like that. Uh, you're counting duration or how fast it takes somebody to fold an envelope or whatever to figure out how to do 5,000 of them. So that's two minutes and two seconds, as you can see. Uh, I'm going to reset this. And you can see all the hands reset themselves. This is your minutes, and this is your uh, hours. So this will go around one time, uh, and this is a half hour, sorry. So you got one, two, three, four. So every half hour, 
uh, is one every time this goes around once it goes one uh, notch here uh, I hope that makes sense it does in my mind but that doesn't always equate to what's going on here so this is how I wear my watch normally the hour and the minute hand and the second hand spin these other three hands don't do anything they're just stopped unless I want to use the stopwatch feature which is independent of the watch. Alright, thanks. Hope this helps.